Okay, Dad, so we know you served in the Army back in the 1950s. So um, tell me, did you get sent to Korea? Yeah, we were headed for South Korea. We had to stay in the lineup waiting, waiting for a boat or a plane to fly us to South Korea or Tokyo. And, and that's when we were pulled out of the lineup. Who was, who was pulled out of the lineup? Joseph Ahern, he was A, and I was B, so I was the second one, because you pulled out with your initial. You, you stood in line up with your initial. So instead of going to Korea, you got pulled out of, out of the line, and what happened when they pulled you out of the line? We had to go to a building, 1568, and, and when we got to the building, there was an Air Force lieutenant and a sergeant, and they said, you're no longer in the Army, you're in the Air Force. We're, you're going to be air packet escorts. And then for the for the next year and a half, we spent every day in a week, we spent at the Seattle Tacoma Airport loading people on the planes. And then we had to wait till the plane reached the halfway point. The halfway and, point to where? To South Korea. And what happened? So you loaded yeah, so, the, the Army guys onto, onto the planes. And if there was a, yes, and if there was a leak in the gas lines or, in the, or even the toilet lines, then they had to turn around and come back to the, to the Seattle Tacoma Airport, and we had to stand there and wait at the uh, at the uh, at the port uh, at the uh, the uh, there was a big uh, what the hell up in the air there was a big circular thing that was uh, the port commander and uh, at the Air Force, and uh, and when he. It told us that the plane was coming back and couldn't reach the halfway point. So what happened when the plane would reach the halfway point? What happened? Well, it would gas. It would gas up and 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 keep heading for South Korea. Okay. But, but if it if something leaked on the plane and it couldn't reach the halfway point, it turned around and came back. Came to, back to SeaTac, yeah. and who yeah. who fixed it at SeaTac? Then the. Uh, then the, the, whoever was in the uh, working on planes, they had to fix it, and then it could. And then and then everybody that was on the plane would jump off and jump and run into the free uh, uh, alcoholic bar, uh, bar, uh, bar canteen bars. Yeah. And we had to go in the bars and grab two or three at a time, take them back out to the plane, and and we had to call the uh, the highest. Uh, Commander would be the post commander, and and we would knock on the door. He'd open the door. We'd give him two or three guys. He'd close the door, lock it, and then we'd go back to the bar and grab two or three more guys, and that and that, until we filled the plane. And then we would have to stand there and wait till the plane got to Alaska to fuel up. Which was the most problematic plane at that airport? The Bombay Merchant. What was the wrong with the Bombay Merchant? It, it had leaks in this, leaks in, in, the, in the plumbing, leaks in the gas lines. Oh my goodness! Every everything you look at was a leak. The and it was a and it was a for it was an NRA plane from uh, the Jersey or something. Oh yeah, interesting story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah.